Sarta are two different things. Right? Whenever you say freedom, you mean freedom from some bondage. But you don't know what to do. So there is a bondage, you want to be free from it. But suppose you are free from it, what will you do? That you are not clear. That is the difference between freedom and satantrata. When you say satantrata, you know what you want to do, what is your natural acceptance. Right? Freedom means you are forced to do something and now you are free from that force, right? So freedom is not enough. I must know what I have to do, what I want to do as a human being. So even freedom word by itself has a very negative connotation. It does not have a positive connotation. It is freedom from something, right? <coughs> so there was something being forced to you, on you, and you want to be free from it. So now, suppose you have become free from it, what will you do? So if you are just putting up this, you know, very hard, you are feeling unhappy about it, right? Now you can let loose your palm. This is freedom. Now then what do you do with the palm? You know what to do with it, that is Satantrata. So freedom is not enough. I need to know what I have to do as a human being. And for that we are trying to investigate and find out our next acceptance. You know what we are. <coughs> Good. Look into it. We'll have a lot of questions tomorrow. <coughs> I think we can do now. <laughs> I am sure that now we are good things. And now you are also sure. There is a continuity of this. So, uh, from today we will have a group discussion. And the group discussion is essentially reinforced. Uh, what we have understood, to share what we have understood, and to also share some of the questions that we have, which we have not been able to clarify in the big group, so we can try to articulate them in the smaller group. If in the smaller group somebody else is able to clarify them, that is good. Otherwise that question can come to the larger group then that can be clarified. So that is the main purpose of the uh, group discussion. Also, we need to be sort of aware of two things that happen in discussions. Sometimes a few people are able to express these two things and the others are left out. So we have to try to make it available, the opportunity available to all, so we can be all able to express what we have understood and what questions are still remaining. That is one thing that we need to be aware of. And uh, another thing that tends to happen in uh, group discussions is that we uh, jump to things which are not yet discussed. So right now we are discussing individual and a lot of questions might be there about, okay, if I understand, then uh, how will I live well with you know, my family or with society or things like that. So that happens. Or we, uh, we keep on revolving around problem. That, oh, this is the problem, you know. <coughs> Why are we talking to teachers? Why not talk to the politicians? Or they should start in school. And these are the problems. So we keep talking about things which are problems. So we can try to you know, minimize that. So that we can focus on these two things. One is what is our takeaway from this? What have I understood? 
or what am I exploring? And the second thing is what are some of my questions? I have tried to understand something and still it's not clear. So I can articulate that. So please do this. We'll do in the group discussion. And we'll have these two group, uh, four groups. Uh, and tell us where they are going to be. What are the venues? Some venue was made. Thank you. Uh, group number one will be uh, will remain here only. Uh, group uh, one second. Uh, if I